Hey there, it's Beth, and I am up with my first design team project for Calico Collage. If you have never heard of Calico Collage before, she has amazing, amazing, amazing collage sheets in her Etsy shop, and I will definitely be leaving the link below. Today I am playing with the Peter Cottontail collage sheets and they are just so gorgeous. As soon as I got these sheets, um, before I even looked at the title of these, I knew that I wanted to title my art journal layout Peter Cottontail because it's exactly what they made me think of. And they are just adorable. And I know that Easter, you know, does not symbolize bunny rabbits. But, you know, America has bunny eyes Easter. I don't even know if that's a word, bunny eyes. But anyways, um, let me get on with my project. So I am using the Mixed Media Traveler's Notebook insert that is in my shop. And I have Lindy Stamp Gang sprayed on here. Um, I did a previous video showing my Lindy Stamp Gang haul and how I just had to play with them. And I just sprayed a bunch of sheets in my traveler's notebook. So I'm working on that as my base. I used some shimmers pasties and the rock and blue, I believe. And I used a Donna Downey stencil to add those numbers. Then what you saw me put on was some crackle paste and it's clear. And now for the first time ever, I'm trying out some art stones with some gel medium. These are the small art stones from Prima. And all I can say is the texture on these is awesome. It is seriously amazing. And I wish I had grabbed them before. So now I'm grabbing my bunny card. Um, these are like artist trading card size. So they're like two and a half by three and a half. They're definitely perfect for um, the inserts in my shop and they're gorgeous they are absolutely gorgeous I seriously cannot wait to play with more of these um, the detail that are in these graphics are amazing I cannot say enough about calico collage and how amazing the products are because they really are amazing so what you saw me do there is I used this rougher up tool and you could use a pair of scissors and get the same effect, but I have the tool, so I use the tool. And what I'm doing is I'm adding a layer of clear gesso on my cutout here. And I actually end up layering two coats of clear gesso on it. And the reason being is because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do to the card and I knew that Although I printed this on 100 pound, pound cardstock, uh, it's inkjet ink. So if it gets wet, it's going to start running. So I decided to go ahead and secure all of the prettiness with some gesso. Um, now, because of my printer, I will be honest, it's my printer, it has nothing to do with the actual item that you're purchasing. But adding the gesso did make some of the color run a bit. But I was okay with that because I just figured I would finish it in the end with some of my big brush pit pens. And it wasn't like a huge amount of running. It was just a little bit of running. So then I have these painted passport uh, little words, letter stickers. And I knew my title was going to be long because I wanted to say, here comes Peter Cottontail. And I figured these would be the best size for me to use for that. Now, it took me a while to get these on here, you know, and obviously I cut out a bit of that, but I just wanted to see you to see that I used my tweezers to place them because these are really tiny little squares. Um, and the only way to get them placed semi straight is, you know, by using tweezers of some sort. Then I grabbed some fun foam because I really wanted my collage piece to stand out. You know, it's Peter Rabbit and he needs to look amazing. So I added the fun foam. I used my ATG tape on the card and then I don't know what I was thinking. I think it's just habit, but I did not need to put that tape on the back. 
but that's okay. I kind of just rolled with it. Now, my crackle paste wasn't showing the way I wanted it to show. So I thought, oh, I'll use my big brush pit pens and massage it in there because I put some matte medium over it and I'll just buff it out. Yeah, that didn't work. And let me tell you, I was so not happy with the way this was looking. And so you see here, now I'm trying to like wipe it off with a baby wipe. It wasn't happening. So I was like, what am I gonna do now? And oh my gosh, and I was freaking out because it wasn't doing what I wanted. So I grabbed India ink. Um, I have the Dr. P.H. Martin's India ink and I love this stuff and I don't use it enough. And I really should because it's pretty amazing of how it's permanent. It reacts with water. You get this beautiful look with it. Um, and I, I am going to make a conscious effort to try and use it some more in my layouts and my projects and stuff. I used the brown India ink. And so what I did was I put it on the spots where I had my texture paste, not my texture paste. I had my gel medium with my little art stones from Prima and I um, put it there and I put it on the areas that I have the crackle paste and the camera doesn't show you how well it looks but it looks really really good in person like the cracks from the crackle paste really show up now and the texture from the art stones um, is really popping now so I'm really happy with the effect I got and it worked out really well then I grabbed some cheesecloth and I grabbed the blue India ink because I needed, I wanted, you know, more blue going on because this is about Peter Cottontail and Peter Cottontail has a blue jacket. So obviously I needed more uh, blue going on. So I stuck the India ink on top of the cheesecloth and then smushed it around. I did use a baby wipe just because I don't have any barrier cream or anything like that. And I needed to, India ink can be staining so I wasn't trying to go to work the next day with really blue fingers. I cut my cheesecloth in half so that it would be big enough for my um, card here. And then I'm gonna use some Beacon 3-in-1 glue to adhere this down. The only other thing that I really do is I grab a brown Stabilo Marks All pencil and I outline my title just to make it stand out more because it was kind of blending in there and I needed it to stand out some more. The other thing that I did was, like I said before, my, I used my pit pens and I just brightened up the areas that smudged a little bit. And I'm so happy with the way this art journal layout turned out. I highly recommend you checking out Calico Collage. Again, her stuff is so, 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 so amazing. And um, I will definitely, like I said, link to her shop and link to the Peter Cottontail cars that are in her shop as well. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can be updated on more wonderful design team projects for the Calico Collage. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.